Is Michael Conforto a top 10 Mets all-time position player? Harp, we'll start with you. I can't go there quite yet, Doug, but as you said, it, it, when you start looking at it, he's not far from there. But let's not forget, you know, he's had his own ups and downs in, during his career. A lot of fans have been down on him, uh, not coming through in the clutch. And this year was kind of what, what we finally have all expected since he broke in with that, the swing everybody loves in 2015. But I, look, if he, he is, he's pretty close because there's not a lot of Mets position players that have had long-term careers and put up huge numbers, things like that. So... I just think if he signs long term and ends up staying a Met, he's going to end up being in the top five for sure. I agree with Harp in that it's it's not time to say that quite yet. Uh, I think Conforto is an unbelievable player. I think he still has a lot more to do and prove. And in which case, yeah, as, as to speak to what Harp said, there aren't a ton of high end position players in the Mets history that you look back and say, well, yeah, there's no way he'll never crack that. You know, those 10 there, there is there's definitely a way. And to be honest with you, if you're a big believer in war and he, he does anything like what he did this past short season next year, uh, he'll be in the top 10 in war, most likely, uh, you know, for position players for this franchise. So it's certainly possible, just not quite yet. Yeah, I, I think since we're even talking about it, I had to go and look at some of the lists. The fact that he is now what I think coming into his own, he's entering his prime and he's already in that discussion. Like Harp said, I completely agree. If the Mets sign him, he's going to be a top five, top four guy that you're going to make an argument because I really think that he's going to take that huge leap forward and be a guy that you can build a team around. I think right now he there's an argument to be made that he is ninth or tenth on that list. I know it sounds shocking, and he means less to the Mets fan base than some other names that you could put there. Guys who won in 69, won in 86, but didn't put up the numbers that Conforto has in his Mets career. We're talking about leaving off names like uh, Ed Cranepool, Cleon Jones, Mookie Wilson, but a guy in Conforto who's put up numbers that those guys just didn't. So it might be hard for Mets fans to admit this early in his career because his career doesn't mean as much as it does for those guys. But he's an awfully good player, has been for many years now. And by the way, this may have been his best season yet. And it was, even though it was a shortened one. If he had played 150, we might be having a different conversation at this point.